What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. The first week of NFL football is basically almost over, and I want to give love to two particular players that had insanely great games today. Uh, I'm going to get into them in a second. Before I do, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video. But the first one is Justin Jefferson, and the second one is Khalil Mack. So let's start with Jay Jettis, because that man had a career day today. 184 yards and two touchdowns on nine catches. The man went crazy, like 20-something yards per catch. And this is against a very, very good Green Bay secondary that he just absolutely annihilated. Like, the, I think he, what did he have, like 150, 156 in the first half? And two touchdowns, I think? He went, he literally just destroyed them in one half and just called it a day pretty much. And he he's my favorite receiver in the league. And to see this man just go out there and just destroy like that with a new OC that is more pass heavy. Oh my God. It is amazing. If you're a fan of Justin Jefferson or Vikings pass offense, like I said about the, the Packers, like the Packers have a very good defense and a very good secondary. His last three games against them statistically are freaking crazy. Okay. He's got 23 catches for 411 yards and four TDs in his last three games against the Packers. The dude goes crazy against them, like the last three games at least. He only played them five times. First year was rookie year. I excluded those just for the more recent, you know, information. The Packers' defense is different now, so to see him just going bananas like this, it's crazy. He he had the the one over. It was a crosser route. He's going across. He catches it and he thinks somebody somebody's got to be near me, right? He caught it and like juked to the right to avoid like a big hit from a safety and stuff. And he juked over and he's like, "Oh my god, there's nobody here!" And just guns for the end zone. Like it was. It, one, it was hilarious because, like, as a receiver, I'd probably be thinking the same thing. This strong safety is probably getting ready to kill me coming over the middle here. But he caught it and, like, could not believe he was wide this wide open. And it's it's crazy. He is lit. You can make a very, very good argument that that is the best receiver in the in the National Football League. Devontae Adams is amazing. That's, that's the only other guy I think you can really even compare to him. Jefferson, athletically, statistically, whatever you want to go with, is insane and he week one what what was it 184 yards 184 yards against a great secondary i mean come on bro give him his flowers give him his flowers i was at uh, i was out with my boys last night and we were like what's your nfl hot take for this upcoming season i was kind of struggling to think of one because you know i don't i don't know what i classify as a hot take half the time and i was like you know what? i'm gonna say justin jefferson gets over 2,000 yards and he's the first receiver to ever do it well, I'm uh, like almost 10% of the way there, <laughs> and we've played one out of 17 games, so I'm looking really good on that pick right now. He might gun for an MVP if he gets over 2,000 yards and probably somewhere in that 15 TD range or something. He's ready, primed for a great year. The, getting Kevin O'Connell as the coach is a huge deal. Jefferson pointed out himself months ago when he was saying, I'm watching the tape. I can see how Cooper Cup had such a crazy season. They schemed it open for him. That's going to happen for him this year. So if you drafted that guy in fantasy, one, great job. Uh, two, you're going to have a great year. And three, he's going to break records. So I know this is only week one. So this is probably a sl maybe a slight overreaction. But the dude is phenomenal, straight up. And like I said earlier, we got to talk about Khalil Mack because first game, Chargers uniform, he's ready to rumble. Dude comes out and gets three sacks, has six tackles, three tackles for loss, a strip sack. The dude was just in Derek Carr's grill all game long. And I think on two of his sacks, he was getting held at the same time. He had a sack where he literally basically just threw the lineman into Derek Carr for it. Like where he's like, we're all just going down. Basically, he's a game wrecker. I, as a Chargers fan, I am so happy to have him because the, the Raiders made a decision. They're like, we're going to double team Bosa. And Khalil was like, OK, <laughs> and ruined their ruined their game plan for a lot of it. They, he was great against the run. Like he's, he's a freaking monster. He had four QB hits. So that's a lot for any one player. The three sacks. I mean, if, if you think of it this way, if he were to keep that up for an entire season, he would have like, what is that? 41 sacks. No, no, no. It'd be three seventeen. It'd be 51 sacks. My math sucks, but I can, I can count to three sacks. That's for sure. He would be on pace for 51 sacks if he played at this pace the entire season. And Justin Jefferson's numbers, hold on, I would we got to find that out. If he did that every single game, what is that, 184 times 17. Jefferson would have a 3,128-yard season if they played like this every week. Obviously, that's probably not going to happen. But Khalil was just all over the place making plays. Uh, really, really showed why that trade was super good for the Chargers. A lot of people were calling him washed. 
even though he was really good last season before he got hurt and was good the years before that too. So if he's healthy, he's going to have a great year. I think Bosa, Bosa got a sack too. Uh, Derwin James got a sack. Galil Max impact kind of opens it up for those guys to be more effective, right? And his pass rushing, you know, when a quarterback gets sacked three times by one guy, he's thinking about that now. Like, okay, I cannot trust that side. So quarterbacks, like, they tend to get a little bit more frantic. Then they're throwing passes a little bit worse than they normally would. They're getting picked off. Like, it, the whole, it's such a domino effect when you have a great pass rush. And Khalil Mack just led the freaking forefront for the Chargers today because he was on one. Chargers fans, what do you think of uh, Khalil Mack in his first game in the Bolts uniform? I particularly loved it. Vikings fans, how you feeling about Justin Jefferson? Do you think that that man might crack 2,000 yards like me? Uh, are you happy that you just beat your division rival uh, Packers, which – I was super, I think I chose, did I, I think I chose the Vikings to beat them. I did a video on that. I think I chose them to beat them. The division was one thing I wasn't ready to just, you know, say that the Vikings won the division, but I think they're going to compete for it. And I, I'm on record saying that in the past too. So this season looks like it's going to be great. These games this week were insane. I probably, there's probably a 20, 25 other dudes that I could have talked about in this video. I don't know. I just want to break it down for a couple of them, kind of keep it simple, you know, like, I think the, the next guy for me was Minka Fitzpatrick. He was a monster, but uh, Khalil and JJ, JJ Jettas, Justin Jefferson, Khalil Mack, stars of the week. Those guys balled out. I love it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video. But how are you enjoying the NFL so far? Week one is in the pretty much in the books. All we got is Denver versus Seattle next. Uh, this week, this Sunday was fantastic. The games were pretty much all great. I'm so happy football's back. But anyway, thank you for watching. I am done here. Peace.